In this video we're going to look at faults and folds in the strata of the earth. We're going to cover the forces that create faults and folds. We're then going to look at some of the different types of folds, some of the different types of faults, and two specific type of faults called Horst and Graben. And then we're going to look at strike-slip faults. The forces that occur inside the plates are the same forces as those that occur at the edges of the plates and caused by the, those forces at the edge. But because the plates aren't perfect shapes, so perfect squares, different spots throughout the plate can have different forces occur in it. And as the plate gets twisted and warped, you can have different forces across the plate. So what we're looking at is how the strata, so the different layers of rock, how they move once they're put under this pressure. And so the force can happen in three directions. The first one being tension, where it's being pulled apart. Compression, where it's being forced together. And shear, where it's being pushed in two directions to cause a split down the centre. Firstly, we'll look at folds. Folds are caused by compression forces, so a squeezing force. And basically what it does is it bends the strata of the rock and they buckle and fold. And they can fold in two directions. They can either fold downways to form a syncline. And if you look at a syncline, it looks like the shape of a sink. So that's how you remember that that's a syncline. And if it folds upwards, we call it an anticline. So we've got two types of folds, synclines and anticlines. You can have both of these types of folds in the same spot, well not the same spot, but in the same piece of rock, where one part folds up, one part folds down, and this creates complex folds in a rock. We're now going to look at some of the different faults. The first fault is a normal fault, and a normal fault occurs from tension, so from pulling a part of the rock, and the rock breaks along a line, and we call that line the fault, and one of the pieces slips down below the other. Most of these faults tend to occur on an angle of about 60 degrees, and that's to do with physics and how rocks, uh, uh, the pressure occurs in rocks. The opposite of a normal fault is called a reverse fault. And a reverse fault occurs because of compression forces, so a squeezing force. A fault breaks into the rock, a line, and the squeezing together causes one rock to rise over the other rock. There's two particular types of these faults where you can get two faults or multiple faults. Um, if it's a multiple, multiple normal faults caused by tension. It's referred to as Graben. And what happens with Graben is you get a couple of faults and a section of rock will drop down below the rest of the strata of rock. The opposite of this is a Horst. Horst occurs from multiple reverse faults where a section of rock will rise up above the rest of the strata. So it'll stick up out of the ground. The last type of fault is a lateral fault, so a sideways fault. And this is caused by shear forces and creates what's called a strike-slip fault. So they, rather than going up or down, the forces move the two strata of rock sideways from each other. In this video we've looked at faults and folds, we've looked at the forces that occur in the strata of rocks which are the same as the ones that occur on the boundaries, a compression, a tension or a shear force. We've looked at two types of folds caused by compression forces, the syncline and the anticline. We've looked at the two different types of faults, normal faults and reverse faults, as well as Horst and Graben, which occur from either multiple normal or multiple reverse faults. 
And finally, we looked at the strike slip fault, where the two pieces of rock strata move sideways due to a shear force.